Hey guys, this is uh, my shop. I just got through cleaning it up a little bit. As you can see behind me here, I've got, of course, the radio. And I've got uh, another interesting thing. I've got a shelf here. And I just repurposed an old piece of wood. I've uh, got my socket set here. Underneath the socket set, I've got uh, all kinds of specialty screwdrivers and little things that you don't use a lot of. Uh, so they can stay hidden away back there. Then if you can see down here at the bottom, I've got uh, crates with uh, my tools in it. I've got my skill saw, uh, drill bits, uh, not drill bits, but my half inch drill is in there, my sanding stuff. Let me show you something interesting about my sanding stuff. If you see here, it's got two crates. Well, one houses my sanders, got two of them in here, and accessories, such as this little tool here. You know, so you can get in the grooves. Now, underneath that, I have all kinds of sandpaper. So, any grit in here you want, you've got the adhesive stuff, you've got sheets, you've got little pieces. And they all, and they all store nicely, right away. See how nice that is. And you can take that with you uh, if you need to go out somewhere. Then uh, let's see. I've got a little just little knickknacks, knickknacks on the shelf. Uh, this is a neat little tool. It's a magnet, of course. You can see. And I all I did was just braid it, make it fancy. But uh, if I drop something, I can just go over the floor like that and it'll pick up any materials. And I like to use baking sheets as project trays. So if I'm taking something apart, I can pull this magnet apart from the base and just stick it to the, and then I'll have any screws and everything, they'll be right here. That's really neat, uh, neat idea. I've got other magnets placed all over the place. Like there's one here for uh, little screws and things, whatever. Uh, re when you're using your screwdriver bits, you put them on there to magnetize them and whatnot. Now I'll move over a little bit here. Don't know how much it'll show you, but start off I have my gluing station which basically is just a can twisted and it's upside down put in here got all my tools hung up on the pegboard system I've got a small little hidden cab Russo cabinet here a little box uh, it's not uh, it's just got things that I don't use a lot of like vice grips certain size vice grips like my uh, driving steering wheel puller. I don't use that a lot. So I keep it tucked away and hidden. Okay, and then I've got all kind of little boxes full of just little miscellaneous tools and toys and whatnot like screws and nuts and bolts and everything. Now I'm going to redo the pegboard and put a frame around it and put some studs on the wall and actually hang it up there a little nicer. Uh, that's going to be one of my projects. Let's move you over here a little bit. Okay. Now in the corner, it's not quite in the corner. There we go. Now in the corner here, I have another baking tray with, as you can see, just paint brushes of all sizes and things to paint with. I've got a, a box full of my clamps. As you can see, clamps, and they're just all put in there nice and neatly uh, so they don't get dusty and dirty and, well, they're disgusting now. But Then I've got my Dremel here, and it's got a little special place. 
I've got a little place here to put my Dremel hose. So if I want to do some little intricate work, I can do that. Down here, if you can see, I've got my screw gun. And down below is the magic. The magic. A pull-out table. This is real important because uh, I've got limited space, counter space, and uh, I'm going to redo this also and make it level with the back side, <coughs> which I'll show you in just a few minutes. But this is real nice. It's got a, a little table, a little uh, underneath it there, and uh, it's on casters. So it tries to roll anyway. But I'm going to redo that and make it a little stronger. Uh, got a little box here with my pens and pencils in it. And I can slide out of my way or down here to where I can get easy access. Now let's go to the back wall. Shall there, we? that's a little better. Uh, now back on the back station, I've got a little, I've got a little pegboard. Uh, Got a little box here that houses my stuff for staining. So I've got my gloves in here and my little brushes and all kinds of little things in there. Now here's something I made. Just pull this up, stick the bar there. Got a nice little table here. It works good. Uh, and if I need to, I've got another one of these that I can put one on each side to make it a little stronger if I needed to. Now underneath this, I have just box, little crates, so I can so I can store stuff, uh, material when I'm making things. I can put different projects in different boxes, keep all their stuff together. And of course, you see my big 42 in the back, back there. And uh, that's the back corner. Now I'll switch over to the other side. Okay, there we are on the other side here. As you can see, I'll show you the corner. It starts. Got my cabinet here that I made out of repurposed stuff. I've got all my paint spray, paint sprays in there. And this is just. A speaker box. Now this speaker box helps hold this cabinet up but it also has a secret compartment. Yeah that's nice isn't it? So you can hide away little things in there and just put it right back. Okay now I've got a box here that's got patterns in it, patterns and templates and I'll move the camera a little bit. Now on the back wall over here you see I've got bins. Now these are not really sorted good so I need to take my time and go through and sort all my screws and bolts and everything. But I made a little drawer system. Works fine. Uh, there's a little piece of trim around it you know make it look fancy and whatnot. And on the top of instead of countertops I have used flooring that uh, was extra when uh, somebody did a project they had extra flooring so I just got it and put it on my things if you can see over here there's some checkerboard uh, it used to be all checkerboard but then I changed it to the wood so I could drill into it and things like that and they're easily be replaced now up top you probably can't see but I've got two shelves that hold my craft stuff, staining, paints, uh, specialty woods, and so forth up top over there. And then uh, over here, we have storage. This is our, this is ropes and, and wires and things. And this is paper and tape guns. And, and this is more patterns that I have made. This is a cigarette maker, cigarette holder. Uh, it's just a template, you just cut it out with a bandsaw. Uh, and then this box is just for 
uh, assorted. Things that I don't have a place for, let them go in this box here and I can sort them later. Okay, uh, down, you can't see it, but down on the very bottom is some crates also, some milk crates, uh, square ones. And then I've got this that uh, came with the, it's just a medicine cabinet. And uh, I've got junk in it right now. Now then, on to the other wall. Okay, on this back wall we've got, I, I use these for other purposes besides tools. This one has gloves in it, all kind of work gloves, because uh, anybody that comes down here that wants to do anything, they need to have a pair of gloves. And I've got this box here that opens up, really nice. Uh, and I've got safety glasses. Important when working on any project is safety glasses. And this is for just another compartment to store things in. Right now I've got the directions to the Dremel in there. And on top I made this little box. A little box with a lid. It houses a whole bunch of rags. Clean rags. You put them on there and you just pull them one, out, one at a time. Just like a Kleenex box. And I have a sponge that I set my cell phone on because I've got it to vibrate and I don't want it vibrating all over off and I might step on it or something. Uh, then here I've got screwdrivers uh, of all different sizes and, uh, and above that is my wrenches which is a good place to keep them. You can just step in, grab your wrench, go back out. Uh, this is just a little bar to hold things right now. The only thing it's holding is my glasses. Uh, but eventually I'll have other things on there. Uh, behind that, I've got uh, an emergency glass bottle of water. This is not, this is unopened. So if you ever get something in your eyes, something you can, you know, go ah! crazy with. And uh, other than that, I've got little boxes, little boxes everywhere, all over the place, full of stuff. I've got my lighting systems up there that if I ever need light, I've got enough light to light up a, a stadium. And uh, down below this table, I have my, uh, my bandsaw. My bandsaw is real important. I, when I need it, I just pull it out, put it on the table that I showed you earlier that I made, and it's beautiful, right at, at uh, the same height as it's right about here. So you can just, you know, do all your kind of work, real, uh, if it's intricate stuff. So uh, this is this is the shop. This is the wood shop. Uh, I'm not going to show you outside of the wood shop because it's dark. Uh, it's getting dark outside right now, and uh, it's a big mess. It's going to take me two days to organize and get that situated again. But out there I have my sander which is on a table and on a separate, I've got a, two uh, skill saws or table saws, one for rough cut stuff and one for fine cut stuff. I've got a drill press out there, I've got a cabinet, I've got a big work table out there. So it's really nice. Uh, there you go. Let me show you the bottom half of the screen there. Now there's the, the saw. It's all covered up. My band saw. And I'll show you down here. I've got a, just a little cabinet with some stuff on it. My skill saw and thing in a box over here. Chair down on the bottom. See more boxes and more boxes and light bulbs and more boxes and and more boxes well I hope you have enjoyed this little tour of my shop until next time I'm Bob see you later